What's up everyone, welcome to the channel. Um, as you may have seen from uh, previous videos, um, I changed the front badge on my car. Uh, my car is a 2016 Hellcat and I changed it to the 2018 um, front badge. Um, at the time I also installed the um, the SRT uh, decal overlay or badge overlay uh, from a company called Reflective Concepts. Also have a couple of videos uh, related to them on my uh, channel as well. Um, I really like the way the, the badge looks uh, with the uh, decal overlay and uh, this particular color is a pretty close match to the Go Mango color of the car. Um, at the time that I bought this, this badge overlay here uh, was actually for the 2017 trunk badge. Um, at the time, uh, Reflective Concepts hadn't actually released uh, overlays for the front 2018 badge. Um, I had also attempted to use the, the rear uh, badge from the uh, 2017 to do the Hellcat head, <clears throat> but apparently there is a difference in size between the Hellcat head for the front badge and for the back badge, um, so that didn't work either. Um, so recently I found out that uh, Reflective Concepts has released a 2018 uh, overlay specific for the front grille, um, including both the SRT and the cat head. Um, so I'm going to replace uh, what was on there with the specific uh, overlay for the 2018s. Um, the uh, other thing is I'm hoping that since the car is now raised and, and the badge is more of an eye level, uh, it should make you know getting it lined up perfectly um, uh, easier to do. And also, um, I plan on uh, only installing one letter at a time. Previously, I had laid out the the whole badge across all three letters. Uh, and that seemed to not work uh, quite as well. So, um, but here, uh, let's see here. But here is, uh, you know, the cat head badge. And just from a quick glance, it does look like it's going to be the, the perfect size for that. So the first thing I'm gonna do is uh, go ahead and get these old badges um, taken off. And let's see here. Okay, now that the uh, letters are off, the uh, decals are off the badge, I'm going to go ahead and use some alcohol to uh, clean the surfaces to make sure there's nothing left over from the last set of decals. from the SRT part. I'm going to cut them apart so like I said I can do them one letter at a time um, and while I'm doing that hopefully uh, any residual alcohol will uh, dissipate and evaporate off of the uh, badge. Alright, go ahead and get started with the S. decals off. I'm going to use a, a tinting squeegee to uh, press the letters down uh, to make sure they have uh, good contact to the uh, surface of the badge. All right. Mm -hmm. 
looks uh, pretty good. I'm going to use the squeegee to set that as well. details on this cat head decal it will be interesting to see how long it lasts on the car uh, I don't know if you can see that on the camera just now when I was trying to take the back piece off in this little section here started peeling off the cat head not a whole lot of material there for that decal to stick to so it'll be interesting when the car gets washed and I don't use it the uh, master blaster air dryer to dry the car so it'll be interesting to see if this uh, comes off but there's the finished product um, all in all uh, just like the original um, badging that I had on there I really I really like the look of the uh, orangish reddish color badge matching with the body color instead of that fake plastic chrome silver looking um, appearance that it had before um, the letters because this is specifically designed for the 2018 badge it looks like the letters uh, have uh, more perfect coverage the cat head does look like it's pretty good I might have uh, got it off a little bit but this thing is you said because of the uh, nature of how thin this is in some areas it was actually pretty hard to get it lined up perfectly but I think I, uh, I think I like the overall look. Um, so another successful mod on the car. So thanks for watching and if you haven't already done so, please subscribe to the channel.